Hi everyone, my name is Jeanette and I blog at countrydesignstyle.com. Been blogging there for quite a few years now. I hate to think of how long, but it's been a while. Um, and I'm the manager of the group. Um, if anyone has any questions or anything, any comments, please let me know. If you're watching live, please give me a wave. I know it takes a little while for people to get in, but that's the live button if you're watching it live. And if not, um, watching on replay, tag me. Say that you watched it on replay. Do hashtag replay or something like that so that I know that you watched it. And I welcome any comments, any questions, anything that you have on this new exciting adventure that I'm taking. And I'm going to take hopefully some of you along with me. And some of you may have already heard about it, and a lot of you probably have not. Um, but I have, and what I'm going to be doing today, let me tell you, I've got a box here. Big heavy box. And I'm going to be opening this box. I am not, I'm not even sure what's inside this yet. 100% sure I know bits and pieces, but I don't know exactly what everything is in here. I didn't even look through the list. I just kind of popped in and said, I'm going to do this. Do you ever see something and you think, okay, this is right up my alley. This is something that I really love. I started watching some videos on YouTube and other, other areas, and I kept seeing this chalk couture. So let me know if you've heard of chalk couture. This is their, their box. There's my box. So, and I have joined Chalk Couture as a designer. And it kind of amazes me that they'll let me join because I've never tried this. I did not order samples and try it out at home. I've never tried it, okay? So I'm going to open up my box, find out what's inside. You guys can go along with me, find out what is inside this box. I got my box, my peanut box cutter. <laughs> I used to work for Planners Peanuts. Um, anyway, now fortunately I get to work on my own and at home, which is wonderful. I am going to open my box. I haven't opened it yet. I love this little logo. I just now saw this even on the box. Well, it's not really, I like the saying. It says design, love, and repeat which is exactly what this is. This is a new way to do some of your chalkboards, but it's more than chalkboards. There, uh, there's a lot to it, and I will be working real, one thing that I like about this, and I, I don't wanna jump around, but one thing that it did catch my eye on this, bubbles, you gotta have those. Don't you miss the little bitty bubble wrap, so? <laughs> my son used to go crazy over those. Um, but, ooh, this is gonna be fun. Um, but one of the things that I like about the company when I was kind of ch checking into some of the things was that they let you get creative. You know, <laughs> There's a lot of different things you can do. You don't have to just do this one thing. There's so much opportunities and so many different ways to do it. Now, I st I'm going to start this, and I it is a multi-level type company, which I do not like. I've never joined one before. Um, but this one, the reason that I did is, first of all, I really am fascinated with the videos. They just, you see them, they're incredible. Um, and I love doing videos anyway. Uh, the other thing that I liked was I like that there's different ways you can do it. You don't have to follow these certain, you know, they've got certain company guidelines, of course, but they don't have, you know, I can just sell this and just sell the product if I want. I can make pillows and I can sell the finished product on my website if I want. I can buy a certain amount and I can sell it locally if I want. I, you can do uh, take and bake kind of things where you have a group of girls over and everybody makes something and you can do it that way. There's a lot of different ways you can do it and that's what I like. They don't, you can do whatever you wanna do. So I really did like that. That appealed to me. But even more than that, I just like the creativity. I, I've got, I'll start showing you what I've got. I've got cute matters. I'm assuming these are little cards is what this looks like. Cards and envelopes, little invitation cards. So maybe if I do a take and bake, I'll, uh, make and take, excuse me, <laughs> I'll let you guys come over. <laughs> okay, this is paste. This is chalk paste. It is not a paint from what I understand. These are the colors that I've, I've got. Uh, 
and I can tell there's some colors in here that I'm really going to have fun with. <laughs> and I love this green too. Um, my mom will love some of the pink. But anyway, so you get a collection of the paste. And there is, from what I'm watching the videos, so let me know when you pop in. Let me know if you've seen any of the videos. They're wonderful. And I know a lot of my readers, we talk um, a little bit about, you know, starting a website. Um, uh, and starting, you know, so I'll talk to them about, you know, the basics, how to do it, what to expect. Uh, especially some of the, the, most of the ladies that I talk to are looking at retirement. And they want to retire, but they still want to have something creative that they can do at home um, that keeps them active and maybe makes a little money on the side. So I've talked to a lot of you, and I know you guys are watching out there, uh, about, you know, starting a website because it's a great way to make money. You you can earn a little living and you do it at home. Uh, I don't have to check in in an office or anything. Just do it at home. And so that's why I also kind of picked this because the only problem with blogging, now you hear bloggers that, oh, I started a blog six months ago and now I'm making all this tons of money. Well, there's a few that do that, but there's a, most of them do not. And I'm one that did not. <laughs> it took me a long time to make a dime. Um, but that said, if you can wait it out, that's fine. But this is something that you can start and start kind of making money pretty quickly. So this is great for those that's looking to retire and uh, kind of wants to do something creative and make a little money on the side. I am assuming this is my little squeegee. And I say that because I've watched some of these, like I said, and I think that's what that's going to be, is my little squeegee. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> cool. I got a little apron, which is needed for me because I do get messy. Although, as I've seen this, I think this is one of those neat projects. This is not one where you're, you know, spraying a lot of paint or mixing up a lot of stuff that makes a mess or anything like that. And I have a funny feeling that this was done with a chalk couture because not only is there paste, there are also ink. So you can do this on chalkboards, of course, um, but you can do it on fabric, you can do it on glass, you can do it on metal. I mean, if it will just stand still long enough, you can probably do it on anything. <laughs> so there's a lot of different options to do it, So, which is something that really also appeals to me because I like doing a lot of junk projects. Sorry. They had the little silicone things, and I picked those up immediately. Keep these away from little pets. Um, but anyway, I'll put my apron on. Be official here. Um, but anyway, let me tie that on real quick. There we go. Now I feel a little more official. But I tell you what, I don't really see that an apron's going to be really needed because this is kind of a neat little little project. Uh, technique anyway at least what I've seen so far I mean I may go crazy and try to you know chalk couture a tractor or something that might get messy um, there's all kinds of pamphlets here with all the different merchandise and all the different colors all the different transfers they call them now to me the other thing that caught my attention with this is it's like silk screening and I had a friend a long long time ago um, I was very young and she had a silk screen company and she was a very young girl and she just she just it was one of those oh, I wish I could have been like her you know I was younger than her but at the time um, we all get older unfortunately but I always was so impressed with her silk screening, her company, what she was doing. And she was just kind of doing t-shirts and baseball caps mostly. Uh, but it just always fascinated me. I've had this thing about silk screening. So these are some of the transfers that I've got. These are just my first one I've picked out. It looks like there's quite a few in this little container here. Um, and now I, from what I understand, they have new ones with each season. So I've got the spring one. So when in doubt, glitter. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay. And then I've got several different things here. There's quite a few things in here. Um, these are some of the small ones. So of course it's all spring, Easter, Easter bunny, um, lots of flowers, April showers, bring May flowers, things like that. I love that. 
Okay. Um, don't bother me. I'm procrastinating. Ooh. <laughs> huh, that might be one of my first bigger projects. I love that. Um, but anyway, so you get quite a few little transfers, they call them, but they're actually kind of a silk screen. And I'm really excited. Chocolate Joy, I love that. And then, of course, my Happy Masterpiece, I love that. And, you know, they've got the modern kind of fonts and, and, and um, symbols, you know, the arrows and the hearts that are kind of a little more modern. They're not too dated or anything like that. So I love that. And then this is a little bit more the startup guide. Yay, I'll need that. Um, okay, so there's all kinds of different little transfers and stuff. I'm excited to use this. I can't wait. Um, and then there's more. Let me kind of gather some of this back up. I can already tell I'm going to have to organize a cabinet have a cabinet for all my paints and inks and, and things, they do send a little chalkboard, a little round one with some twine. <laughs> okay, that's really cute. Okay, so I can, you know, you can put, what I like is, and this is something that I saw too that I just really love, you can put your transfer on here. Say they do have a pickup transfer, which I'm definitely going to get. They have a little pickup. Okay, the you know the pickup, the old time pickup. They have one of those. They've got a bicycle too. You can put the tr pickup on. You can then make it permanent. There's things you can do to make that chalk permanent. And then you can add, like, they had a pile of hearts someone did. <laughs> and they did a pile of hearts for Valentine's Day. At Christmas, of course, they did Christmas trees. Um, you know, so it can be seasonal. Well, that part can erase, but the truck stays. So I love those little tips. I love working um, with that that creativity and that that way. Now, again, you can also do this on fabric. I've got a drop cloth behind me, which needs some chalk couture really bad because <laughs> it's been a used drop cloth. But I can, you can put it on drop cloths. You can put it on any kinds of fabrics and things like that. So. That's great for that. Oh, huh. okay, this is gorgeous. And then I have, oh, and it's got bubble wrap, the popping bubbles. Huh. That is, I haven't received anything with bubbles like that in, I don't know, a couple of years, I think. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so the little chalkboard, and I love this. This is really nice. This has got the little um, rustic. Look, that's the other thing that I liked about Chalk Couture is they've got, you know, they're staying within what's modern and what's current. It's not dated. Um, I've seen a few things where things are dated and everything, and I, I don't really like that. Um, but now, again, this is a multi-level. I'm going to put some things aside here, and I'm going to show, actually open this up. I have a little... I grabbed this because I had no idea what was in the box. I really didn't. I didn't really stop and, and look at it or, or, or anything. I just thought, okay, start with my beginning kit and start trying something. So I've got this chalkboard. You may, may have seen it at Walmart. I got it some time ago. It's a little dog, and I used it for Humane Society. And at that time, I just wrote <laughs> my terrible handwriting on here, something like welcome or something. I remember I had something around his neck. Um, I think I actually had a little leash looking thing that went off to something else. I, don't, I can't really remember, but he's been around for a while. But I thought I'd do something on it and just give it a go. Never done this, so we'll see what happens, okay? I've got to find something that will fit on him. So let's see. I know there were some little squares that would be perfect for him. And I'm sure there's ways to... to um, and as I learn them, I'm going to be sharing them with you. I'm sure there are ways to, you know, block off some a part. Like if I want just part of this flower, I'm sure there are ways I can block off part of it or something. I don't know. I'll learn. And then as I learn, I'm going to be sharing them not only here, but on the website too. Um, but don't worry, I'm still going to be doing some of my other all of my other projects too. This is just something that I've just added. And I honestly don't know how I'm going to use this best uh, for myself. I tend to not do, I don't 
picture myself doing the uh, take and makes, make and take, just because I just, uh, maybe, you know, I might, but that's just not my first thought on it. But I know some of you, if you've got a circle of friends close by that like to get together and create, um, I would kind of like to do that. I just don't know if I will. Okay, and I am going to, this is just one piece. I know they each have their own backing. Or, or not their own. They're, these are all on one sheet. So I'm just going to cut one away. I think he's going to have Hello Spring. Okay, I think that's the one I'm going to put on him. So I'm just going to cut that out. Hope this is right. But I'm going to cut that out. I also have new glasses, so <laughs> just got them yesterday, and I'm still like, can I see through these? <laughs> okay, what I think I'll do is try to put my phone down so that you can see what it is I'm doing. And because we're doing chalk, I'm just going to start with this one. And let me put my phone down so you can see my table. Hopefully you can see my table. I've got a new phone holder and I'm not exactly sure how to best do it. Okay, there, we can put him here. I'm gonna put him upside down. So hopefully you can see the dog. Hopefully this keeps, stops vibrating. I do know this is not paint. This is actually a pasty chalk. And everything comes sealed well. Everything comes sealed well. It isn't it getting hard to get into products nowadays. It's almost impossible. Okay. There it is. Some paste. It takes very, very little of this to do it, which is another thing that I like because I am a little bit chintzy. Um, thrifty, maybe. <laughs> Most of my decor around our house is pretty thrifty. And so I like being thrifty with my paint. I want to make my paint last as long as I can. Okay, there's a little chalk couture. A little thing. This is kind of like a, it's rubber. It's just like a little, um, it feels soft. It's just like a little spatula is what this is. Okay, I know when you peel these off, because I did happen to see, I, I took time and watched a beginning video to see what she was doing, since I thought, you know what, I've never even looked at this stuff, or, you know, live anyway, or in person, so I thought, I better find out a little bit more about it. I do know that this is the front side of this, because it's shiny, that will be the back. So when I put this back on this, when I'm done, I do need to put it on the shiny side. And this is what the transfer is. They call them transfers, but it's kind of a silk screen because where it says Hello Spring, there is actually um, silk screen kind of uh, material in there, a silk type material in there. And that lets the chalk go through it. These are reusable. Now, I can use this Hello Spring probably 50 times before uh, it's just too tired then. But I'm going to put him right up here on his chest. I almost put it on his hind end, but maybe I shouldn't do that. He probably wouldn't appreciate that. Okay, you put it down. Now, there should be a squeegee, which I didn't happen to see it. I may have bypassed it, but I'm going to just kind of use this. They do say to kind of rub it in, press it in well, make sure there's no bubbles. That seemed to go on very smooth, very easy. You may notice there's some white writing on the bottom of this. That's just actually on the front of it. It, it won't transfer on to the dog or anything. Okay, and then you do. I do know I've seen people take this and stir it up a little bit before they use it. And each time you use, it's kind of like paint, you know, anytime that you're going to use paint, you always want to stir it first. I'm just going to use a corner of this. Okay. And then I'm going to rub the back side of it off back in there, but I'm going to keep a little bit on that front side. 
and I am just going to, if you pop in, let me know where you're at, where you're watching from, and um, if you've ever tried this before or seen this anywhere. And I think you're supposed to actually just put, now you, I'm put, it looks like I'm putting quite a bit on. I will take it off as we go here. You just kind of put it on all over. Cover all the screening part of it. Okay. Now that you've got it screen covered completely, I'm going to wipe the... Oh, I've got low battery, guys. I hope you guys finish. I hope we get to finish this. Sorry about that. I didn't even think about that. I did not recharge my phone. Paper towel. Probably should be a damp paper towel. Okay. Did you hear that? There's a rack down there. <laughs> I just knocked over. Okay. Promise you my next videos will be a little bit better because I'll learn how to do this. And then you just take this and just wipe this back off. Make sure you do not go off the edges here because, and when you wipe it off, wipe it right back into the jar because it's fine to reuse. So even those small amounts, you can reuse it. Just kind of clean that back off. And then just wipe this back off into the jar. And then I will clean this with water later. I do have a little Tupperware or plastic thing of water. Don't think it's Tupperware. But. Okay, so I can clean that off. Now I do know that when you clean the transfers, you clean them off and you, you can pick it up right away. But you clean them off with baby wipes, I have seen which I thought was kind of unique. And I got lucky here, there's a little corner that didn't quite make the dog, so I'm gonna take that corner and start to lift. And just lift this off. Whichever direction it's gonna go first. <laughs> I think it's gonna go this way. It's amazing, that really sticks down on there. I'm kind of surprised by that. Should get a good transfer then. Maybe I put it on too tight. Maybe I was supposed to do something before I started this. <laughs> I didn't read that part. But we'll all work through it. Nope, I think this is going to work out beautifully. Get it all the way off. Great. And I'm going to drop this right away in that water because I saw someone else. I've seen that a couple of times where they drop the sticky, everything. Just drop it right in the water. And they kind of go ahead and start taking some of that paint off with their fingers. That paste. i got to learn to say paste. It's not paint. It's a paste. But take that off right there okay and look at this guy i love that the thing that i like is how crisp and clean that is and how simple and now it's wet it doesn't take long to dry and after it dries it will stay on there until you actually wipe it off let me bring this back up sorry i'm making you guys dance here I put a new, I've got a, my phone on a different holder here and it kind of moves and dances. <laughs> and it doesn't quite come up, come up like I want it to. <sighs> okay, we've all quit moving now. Okay, so, ta-da, I really like that. I think those are really gonna be a lot of fun. I probably got, probably received at least 30 different transfers in here. I've got quite a few paste. There are also inks available that can go on fabric and you heat set them with an iron so that then you can wash them. So watch for pillowcases. In fact, when I started doing this, I thought this would be something fun and different to add to my shop. And so that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing is getting super, super creative with these, playing with the transfers, um, 
in mixing and matching some transfers to get them to look just the farmhouse style that I like and playing with the inks. There's several different colors of inks. It's not just black. Um, so I'll play with those and start putting them onto pillowcases and then selling them. Uh, but again, you know, if you're interested in doing something like this, I just think it's it's going to be very creative. It's a brand new company. It's only been, I think July is its second year. Um, so it's still kind of in the ground floor. Um, but th so far, I've been very impressed with working them with them. And I have to tell you, I'm impressed. Hi, Pam. Hi, I'm so glad you're on. <laughs> um, I, I chalked a doggy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> but this is Chalk Couture. I really like it. And I think I can see really growing a lot with this company. I think that um, each, like I said, each year the transfers or each season there's new transfers available. There's old transfers that you can still buy. Um, you, I will put in the bottom of this a link to the store. And I will also probably have something separate on the website that's just for Chalk Couture. Um, and then I also, if, if you're interested, you can sign up with me and, you know, I'll, I'll show you, I'll teach you. Um, whether uh, The other thing that I like is when you sign up, there is, I paid $99 for my first kit. And then uh, after that, and the second month, the website, what I like too is I don't have to put this on my website. I don't have to put the paste. I should cover my paste, by the way. If I sell this, I don't have to buy this and put it on my website and try to ship it to customers or anything. All I have to do is send them the link and they take care of the website. But there is a, a $19.99. $20 a month. They take care of the website. So that's something else that I like. I don't have to buy it and ship it to people because <laughs> there's been a lot of things out there that's like, oh, buy so much of this and you can, you know, store it and you can, I've done that. You know, I've had chalk paint companies contact me and want to do that. And I'm just, I don't want to do, I'm not interested in that. I don't want to get involved in the shipping and, and all that type of stuff. But this way you can, you can buy it. Um, from the website, uh, but if you become a designer like me, anything on the website, I get 40% off. So, you know, <laughs> that's just easy and fun. <laughs> so it'll be a lot of fun to get very, very creative with this. Again, you can do it also on anything that you can heat up to a certain temperature, and I don't know the temperature right off, um, but if you can heat it up in your oven, your glasses, glass, metal, and I'm not sure about metal. I don't know. I have to learn about that one. But I know glass needs to be heated up with the ink. Um, the ink has to set with some type of a heat, whether it's in the oven or with your iron. I don't know about craft heat guns, but it is something that I will be testing because <laughs> I have a really good craft heat gun. And if I can get my ink to set with that, now that's ink, that's not these chalk paste. Um, now this little guy here, he's, he's drying and yep. Oh, he's dry. Yeah. I can rub over it. This is really nicely on okay I don't have to worry about it but if I get tired of it and it's no longer spring <laughs> and I want to dress him up for another season all I have to do is use a wet uh, paper towel and I can clean him off okay and he will be good to go he can go again but again if for some reason I wanted to be real just I'm gonna use this as an example if for some reason I wanted to keep hello all the time on him but I wanted to change what he said afterwards, I could put a clear finish on this hello, a matte finish. I could put a matte finish on that. So that way I could wipe away the spring and I could put hello handsome or <laughs> whatever I wanted to put on there. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of different creative things. You can use part of one stencil on another. There's a lot of different fonts that you can use. Um, so you can write your own sayings, which is something that I really like. <laughs> and so I, I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you've met, I've seen a couple of people popped in. So great to see you guys. 
If you um, have any questions whatsoever, reach out to me. I'm at Jeanette, J-E-A-N-E-T-T-E, at countrydesignstyle.com. You can email me, um, ask any questions that you have. Uh, I'm really excited to take this journey. And one thing that I can say is if anybody else is interested, and some of, like I said, some of you have reached out to me about how do you start a website? How do you make money on a website? Or I've started one and it's not doing well. I stop and give help, okay? And so that's the same thing I'm doing with this is, is you know, it's it's a great opportunity to bring in some extra money. And like I said, most of the ladies that follow me, are, we're a little bit older. <laughs> and we're looking at retirement and we might need a little bit of extra income. Uh, so this is a way to have that extra income, work from your home, and get really creative. So I'm looking forward to this. This is my first time ever seeing it. <laughs> My first time ever trying it. And I'm not really good at transfers and stuff. So that was very easy to do. So I, I think it's going to be fun. And I can't wait to take this journey with you guys. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. And, if you again, if you have any questions, you can also just tag me. You can tag Country Design Style because I get the notification. Or you can tag Jeanette. And I get the notification. Ask me any questions whatsoever. I'm here to help. And um, also, if you have any questions about your website or blogging or earning money that way, please let me know. I can, I, I'll answer any questions that you might have. I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> And it does work. You can make money online. So I do want, want to put that out there. You really can do it. And I think this is going to be a neat way to add just a little bit extra. So thanks for watching. And um, also, before I go, I did want to ask if anyone has any um, other projects that you want me to, to do live, let me know whether it's, you know, we did some painting series here recently where we painted and distressed and things like that. If there's anything along with painting furniture or, you know, I don't know, other types of stencils and transfers um, to make something, just Put it in there. Let me know. And I'll come do another live. We can do it together. I love trying to get people to be not be afraid. Try it. See what happens. So I'll, I'll be there and hold your hand even if it has to be, you know, through the phone. <laughs> so I'm there for you. Everybody go have a great creative weekend. And I'm going to go play with some paste. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.